Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany. And right now we're in the John Deere Future Farming Zone. And we're joined by Ryan Gallus. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing great. I'm very interested to hear about this unit that is behind us. It is a, an autonom, or, autonomous robotic sprayer. Tell us about it. Yeah, so that's exactly it. And the idea behind it is, how did we find a lightweight machine that can run fully autonomous in the field and you can have multiple versions of it. So customers can go out and they can kind of divide and conquer with their machines um, to serve their application needs. Um, one of the best things about it is because of its lightweight, um, it extends application windows pretty significantly compared to a big sprayer today. Yeah, so you know we've got a bunch of different stuff happening here. We've got spraying by drone potentially in the future, but then we also have models like this where you could have multiple units working together uh, smaller than say the traditional 100 or 120 foot booms we're seeing today in the market and this is a much smaller version of that. Yep, exactly, yeah, this is, um, the idea was uh, as, as everything keeps getting bigger, faster and stronger, but how do you get to a concept that's more modular that can go out and you can use multiple versions of this and you can increase productivity and increase your efficacy as you uh, spray. What, what is the, what would be the intended width of the sprayer? So that's going to vary. We have, this is a concept right now. Right now the boom is at 30 foot. Um, that will likely change as we continue to iterate and learn with, from customers. What about battery power? Is it, is it at speed yet to be able to keep up with where you're going with these models? Yeah, so that's stuff, we're, we're obviously looking into all sorts of things like that. Um, battery is something that we're going to continue to investigate and as soon as the technology gets to where we need it to get for our customer, um, we'll continue to investigate and determine if that's the right approach. Yeah. So what is the strategy going forward? Like when you look at somebody that's say a, you know, a corn and bean grower in the Midwest or they're a broad acre grower in Western Canada growing pulses, canola and wheat, how many of these things, do you, when you sort of work this all out, how many units would somebody need of this kind of uh, technology? Yeah, it's tough to answer. It depends on the application. It depends on their location. Um, it depends on their nutrient needs or their, their weed pressure, things like that. Um, what we look at is, so this machine, we want it to run 24 hours a day, um, as you'll see on some of the videos. Um, it's smaller, but it runs continuously, so that's, that's important. It can get out in the field more often than a big sprayer. Um, so we think the productivity's there, but we're still trying to work out all the math to say exactly how many, and the customers are the ones that are gonna have to tell us that. Yeah. What would be the speed of the unit? Yeah, so right now, um, we can go you know, between six and eight miles an hour, yeah. um, depending on if you're loaded or if you're not, um, but we're still working through that to it. Everybody wants it to go a little faster, so. <laughs> Everybody always wants to drive the sprayer faster. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Okay, so here's an interesting thought, is that we've got ro a robotic sprayer. Have you worked on the technology yet for a robot to load the sprayer uh, so that a human can be removed from that process too? <laughs> yeah, so um, everything's on the table. We're considering lots of different things to make this highly productive. Um, something like that would continue to add to productivity. You don't want your customer out um, managing this thing several times throughout the day, so. Um, we're looking at all those things. Yeah. As long as you can get somebody to make sure there's water there when you got to fill it, that's still one of the most right. critical spots. Hey, I really appreciate you joining us today and uh, good luck with the rest of the show. And uh, what's, what's been the farmer reaction when they see this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all over the board, right? Because this is something that's so new. Um, but sometimes it's incredibly positive. I, you know, I, I want one right now. And sometimes it's, what well, this thing seems small. Are you going to make it bigger? So it's, it's all over the board. But... Um, for the most part, it's pretty positive, so that's been exciting. You, you can always tell who the North Americans are because it, it, it seems a little small. Is yeah. it, could, it could be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yep, bigger, faster, stronger. That's what they always, well, we hear that a lot. But yeah, that we've had really positive feedback on this thus far. Okay, Ryan, thanks a lot. Thank you.